Alright guys, welcome to a great new episode of Hardway Outdoors. If you haven't, make sure you check out my channel, give it a good, sub uh, big subscribe, like this video, and and I will gladly return the sub back. Today we're going to be tying a black stonefly, popular hatch here in central PA. Um, see it mostly on limestone creeks, like a couple popular ones in PA are Spring Creek and Fishing Creek. Pretty sure Fishing Creek's limestone. But this is a great fly. I'm going to show you how to tie it. Stay tuned. Alright, started off, put our 25,000th lead wire on our size 12 natural bend 3x long um, direct hook. We put one layer of lead wire on, start at halfway on the bend or on the shank, and take it almost to the eye. And then we put a second layer on halfway of that. It helps build up the body and gives it a a little bit more weight to get to the bottom quicker. Now we're going to start off in the back, take your thread in the back, using black 70 denier thread. Um, you can go a little bit thicker. It'd help with a bigger fly. Uh, that, this is a nice little trick I like to use. You're going to take your dubbing just a little bit and put it right in the back. Just a very little just put a little bit right in the back like a little ball and you're gonna take um, two turkey biots put them in there the, that ball helps separate these I just take a turkey biot off a turkey feather and what you do is you just peel this back and there's your biots I uh, coated it black with a sharpie and you're just gonna put that measure it halfway with the shank from the eye put it in right in the back put this one on the opposite side of you on the hook give it a wrap pull it so you can adjust it there you go you got one in grab the other Make sure it's the same length, tie it up, tie it in on your side, right there. See if it'll go this time. There. Make sure it's even. There, you got two biotes in the back. Trim off the excess. Now you're going to tie in black wire. You can use medium, large, small, doesn't matter, it just helps secure your dubbing and gives it a little bit of set segmentation. You tie that in the back. Now you're going to take some dubbing, black dubbing. Stoneflies go big to small, black, yellow. Just going to dub it up. You do For a yellow stonefly, you do the same thing, but with just different color. You just use yellow or tan, dubbing, biots, thread, and wire. It's going to give it a good rope of dubbing. It's a very time consuming fly, but pays off in a stream. Gonna just keep going forward, take it forward, almost to about halfway on the shank. I went fishing yesterday. 
didn't have any luck on Moose Creek. Used uh, Prince Nymph with a dropper Vlotti. Vlotti's in a different time video I made. Now you're going to take the black wire you tied in earlier and wrap forward. The rotary, f the rotary feature on this vise makes it a lot easier to do. Tie that off right there. Now you're going to take thin skin. It's a great, great material. That's what it looks like. It just this comes in a little piece of cardboard, I guess. Okay, you're just going to cut out a real thin sliver right here. Real thin sliver, probably about three, two or three inches. Cut it out. Now you're gonna just give it a little bit of rounded edge. Cut it. Round it off the edge a little bit. Peel off the cardboard. This makes the wing case. So you peel off the cardboard and it's kind of clear. It's black. Comes in orange, yellow, green, gray, every color you can think of. It's a great material. It's kind of stretchy. You're going to tie it in right there. Make sure it's tight. It has a tendency of slipping on you sometimes. Pull that up. Give it a couple securing wraps. Cut it off. And I gotta take a bunch of bunch of dubbing. Dub your thread. Make it real bushy. Make it real bushy. And tie right on there. Pull it back. Just kind of pull it down. Makes the legs on it. And you're going to take the rest of that thin skin. Wherever I put it. Right here. You're just going to make that taper on it. Like you did before. That little rounded off edge. Just makes it look a little bit more natural. And you're going to make sure it's halfway on the one you tied previously. Make sure it's tight. It's a little bit far back. Right there. Cut it off. Now you're going to take it to the front. Tie in two more biots. And I just color them black to save me a little bit of money. Don't have to buy black biots. Good, tie that in. The, right behind the eye. Tie the other one in right behind the eye. Couple securing wraps. Trim off that excess. Take your thread back to your bio. I mean, uh, where your thin skin was. Take more dubbing. Make it bushy. What I mean when I make it, I mean baking it bushy, I mean, um, instead of taking a bunch of wraps, you're just going to put that on there real lightly. And you're going to put that right behind the, we already have, the two wing cases. Put it right there and pull down, mix the legs. You're going to take it right there and tie in your last piece of thin skin. 
once again make the tapering edge the rounded off edge show you what I'm doing this time take it and you just cut it so it's kinda rounded off you're gonna tie it in so it's halfway on that second by the way I mean the thin skin I keep messing it up tie it on see it likes to slip on you pull it back fix the bios see what I'm doing tie that on cut off that excess watch your bios alright almost done just to line it up take a small just a little bit of dot, uh, black dubbing again put it on couple more wraps pull it back now you're done with the fly that's a stone fly it's a great fly Whip finish it. There you go. Stone fly. Black stone fly. Go get them. Great fly. Wing case on there. Two antennas in the back biots. Thanks for watching this episode. Check out my other time videos. Um, hopefully going to get some fishing videos this uh, late winter and spring. And happy late season hunting to all you guys. And check out the rest of my time videos. And again, check out my channel and hit subscribe. Thanks guys for watching.